हेलो एवरीबॉडी गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम ओम प्रकाश एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय इंग्लिश वीडियो क्लास स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स टेक द अनदर चैप्टर ऑफ योर क्लास नाइन्थ इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट बुक बी हाई चैप्टर थ्री द लिटिल गर्ल ओके रिटन बाय कैथरीन मैंसफील्ड दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल चैप्टर वे द ऑथर हैज मैंशन द स्ट्रॉन्ग बॉन्ड एंड द गुड रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द चिल्ड्रेन एंड दियर पेरेंट्स सो लेट्स कवर अप द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट This story is about the little girl named Kezia. Okay, this is a story about a little girl whose name is Kezia. The theme of this story is the relationship between the children and their parents. Here, the author wants to tell us that how, when the children are young, they do not feel that their parents love them, care them. because their parents are strict okay and many actions of the parents seem unjustified seem un- unfair but as the children grow up they realize that the acts done by their parents were beneficial for them okay in this story too we see that how the little girl kezia's feelings for her father change from fear to understanding students Before we proceed with the chapter let me ask you one question If I ask this question that do you really know your father better now than you were younger before what your answer will be Most of the time you would have got frustrated you would have got upset just because of their harsh and strict behavior okay but now you realize like why they were strict okay and this chapter also tells us that how the little girl kezia thinks about her father as he was strict he used to be harsh towards her so let's move ahead and let's discuss some of the selected keywords of this chapter so the first word is terrify what do you mean by terrify to frighten darana kisi ko to scare someone the next word is stutter what is a stutter stammer okay when you are not able to speak out your words clearly and that stage you will be called that you are stammering okay stammer means haklana theek se na bol pana next word is brink brink means the extreme is okay kisi cheez ka bahri kinara will be called brink snore what is snore jisko aap hindi mein kharrate lena bolte hain okay snoring so snore means breathe noisily while sleeping sote pe जोर से आवाज करना एंड पेस व्हाट इज पेस वॉक टू एंड फ्रो आगे पीछे चहल कदमी करना जिसको हम बोलते हैं पेसिंग ओके क्लिंग क्लिंग मीन्स टू होल्ड समथिंग टाइटली किसी चीज को आप जोर से पकड़ते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड क्लिंग ओके स्नगल लाई आर गेट क्लोज टू किसी चीज के करीब आना लाइक अ पिलो यू हैव टेकन इन योर आर्म सो दैट यू आर गेटिंग क्लोज टू इट सो दैट इज वॉट स्नगल नाइट मेयर वॉट इज नाइट मेयर अ टेरिबल ड्रीम ठीक है डरावना स्वप्न जिसको हम बोलते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड नाइट Sai what is sai a deep breath ek lambi gehri saans bharna ah jisko bolte hain that is called sai so this is all about the keywords now let's move to the key points of this chapter in this story a little girl named kezia usually remained scared of him okay she finds his father like a giant and she scares a lot okay she thinks like her father is very much strict very harsh towards her so she scares a lot okay and that's why she kept a distance from him whenever he would be at home okay in the presence of her father she would never come closer to him she would often get nervous and stutter while talking to him even she is not having that much dare that she could talk to her, to her father nicely in a sweet way okay she longed for his love and affection like her neighbor mr macdonald okay in her neighborhood there is a guy named macdonald he used to love her daughter and even play with her so she watches this all and that's what here she also expects the same like uh, mr macdonald she used to feel relieved on seeing her father go to office okay such a terror she used to feel of her father on one sunday kezia's grandmother sent her to spend some time with parents but kezia found her father lay down on the sofa to relax and mother busy in reading okay so when she found both of them busy she again came back and she couldn't meet with them and chat one day kezia's grandmother suggested her to prepare a gift for her father as it was very near and which was about to be celebrated so after the suggestion of kezia's grandmother she prepared a pin cushion with a beautiful yellow silk cloth 
for that she needed a scrap to fill it as you know when she was wanted to prepare a pin cushion and for that of course she needed some scrap to fill it so for that what she did she took some papers from her father's room and stored them up to stuff them in pin cushion okay it was the father's important speech for the court authority okay all the papers that had been collected by the kezia were very important as there were the speech written by her father okay and when kezia's father found the paper nowhere where his speech was written kezia was called and questioned and then she admitted her act okay that yes she had collected those papers to make and to prepare pin cushion she was not knowing she was a small and little girl and then she was beaten by her father okay with a ruler and she cried bitterly and then what she did after this she clung to grandma who consoled her and then when she embraced her grandmother next door neighbor mr macdonald plays with his children in the evening okay what kezia was the person mr macdonald who used to live in her neighborhood he used to play usually with their children in the evening so when kezia watches this all she concludes that all fathers are not like us vai ye conclude karti hai ki sare father uske jaise nahi hote hain so such a negative concern comes in her mind one day her mother got admitted to the hospital okay she was alone at home under the care of the cook वह अकेली थी घर पे कुक के सिवा कोई और नहीं था ओल्ड नाइट मेयर हॉन्टेड हर वॉट इज़ नाइट मेयर अ फेयरफुल ड्रीम हॉन्टेड हर हॉन्ट मीन्स डराना टू स्केयर टू फ्राइट एंड एंड वॉट शी सा इन दैट नाइट मेयर दैट अ बुचर विथ अ नाइफ इन हिज हैंड हु इज़ अ बुचर अ बुचर इज़ अ पर्सन जनरली नोन फॉर किलिंग द एनिमल्स इन स्लॉटर हाउस ओके सो वेन शी वॉज ऑल दैट दिस ऑल मेड हर सो मच स्केयर्ड एंड फ्राइट एंड दैट शी क्राइड आउट ओके बिटरली देन वेन शी वोक अप स्क्रीमिंग जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द नाइट मेयर दैट शी हैड देन वॉट केज यर फाउंड शी फाउंड दैट हर फादर वॉज देयर नियर हर बेड साइड एंड वाई ही वॉज देयर टू कम्फर्ट हर ओके वॉट ही डिड ही टुक हर टू हिज रूम ही टगड हर सो दैट शी कुड अगेन स्लीप एंड इन दिस वे केजिया रियलाइज दैट ही वॉज नॉट सो बैड बट ही वॉज टू बिजी टू एक्सप्रेस इज लव ओके द मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट केजिया वॉज हैविंग सो फार हैज़ बीन ऑल डिमिनिस्ड ओके एंड दैट नाइट शी फेल्ट दैट हर फादर हैड अ बिग हार्ट एंड ही वॉज लाइक अदर गुड फादर्स ओके सो दैट्स ऑल इन दिस चैप्टर थैंक यू सो मच टेक केयर एंड गुड बाय